Welcome to a special Circumstances Incorporated uh, video about how to sharpen a blades made with exotic materials. Primarily today we're going to be talking about the kind of laminates that I make. Um, and I'm going to use one of my more recent knives as a demonstrator. This was just recently finished up. Um, I have just carbonized the edge. Um, so now we have a bit of a wire edge on the non-carbonized side, which is pretty normal in the beginning. Um, I like to use a couple of different methods. Uh, probably one of my favorites is a piece of foam rubber mouse pad that has been um, that's had a piece of what's called uh, micro mesh abrasive uh, uh, glued onto it. I just done with contact cement. This stuff is available any number of different places, both online and in retail stores. Um, this is roughly about an 1800 grit or so. They come down in some lower sizes. Uh, I like to use the higher grits like this, mostly because, well, it provides a nice finished edge that still has a bit of tooth to it. Uh, I also use your typical ceramic crock stick. These things are about $7 online. Can be found in a couple of different places. Um, very useful for a number of things, but they do have some peculiarities that I'm gonna cover as well. Um, of course, various types of diamond hones are also very useful, especially if you want to establish an edge on something that's been worn down quite a bit and is very dull. Um, this is a relatively fine. This is a, a Dia Sharp from DMT. This is probably this is about 1200 mesh. And uh, I bent this to make it easier to use with um, recurved edges and the various kinds of edge profiles that I do like using myself. So. Usually what I will do to get rid of the wire edge on one of these, once, once it's been carbonized, I'll set the edge using either a diamond or a ceramic cone. I'm going to use the ceramic this time. And just very carefully draw up, trying to maintain the same edge ang angle every time. And being very careful, and this is one of the peculiarities I mentioned with these round sticks, that I don't round off the tip. So I don't want to drag the tip off like this. Instead, I want to come to a stop while still on the actual crock stick. Um, if you're not careful, you will really round off the tip and that can basically ruin a knife and it'll need some fairly extensive reconstruction in order to actually work out well. Um, this round shaped stick is very useful when it comes to taking care of these kind of odd recurves that I sometimes make. And it can also be used on more traditional shapes like the edge here on the top. Once I've done that, I'll usually test it just the usual way. You, just, you know, wipe your thumb across it, try not to sever it. Of course, you'd have to be a bit of an idiot to do that, but it's happened, believe me. And then I usually finish it with one of these little pads here. What's kind of nice about these is because they do have some give to them, they produce something more along the lines of a convex edge. I find that this works quite well when it comes to these kinds of uh, carbonized edges with the laminate blades that I make. And they're also forgiving enough that they actually conform very well to even rather extreme angles and recurves. Okay, And it also works quite well with the more straight edges. And you can even use it like this for these quite extreme recurves. And it works quite nicely. There's a number of different ways you can test the sharpness of a knife, uh, the typical arm shaving and so on, which admittedly these somewhat more uh, these thicker, heavier blades like this, uh, they're not particularly well suited for that just because of the angles involved. Um, and generally, in general, these carbonized blades are not really going to be arm shavers for the most part. Uh, this is more meant to be something that's going to function in a pinch. They're not designed to be fine cutters. That's just not what they're built for. Uh, you can also cut paper with them, which can be both a good indicator and a not so good indicator. It kind of depends on what you're trying to do. Generally speaking, I just sort of 
try to draw the edge across my fingernail and if it doesn't slide and leaves it a little mark on the nail that usually indicates that you have a fairly sharp knife. You don't, don't use any pressure except the weight of the blade and as you can see this is biting into my fingernail quite nicely. Now once you've gotten rid of the wire edge and sort of polished it on this side you may find that you have a bit of wire edge going the other way uh, you can use a leather strop to get rid of that. You can use some cardboard just to sort of really finish up the edge. Um, I, again, like using the micro mesh abrasive um, attached to a mouse pad. This is a much higher grit. This is roughly a 12,000 grit. Uh, so it works more as a polishing stage. And you'll just wipe it across very lightly just to break off that wire edge from the carbonized side. You do not necessarily want to grind anything off um, as far as material goes that kind of gets rid of the carbonizing and defeats the purpose of having the, this kind of edge. So this is uh, pretty much done. Pretty straightforward to do. Um, there's any number of different ways you can attain the same same results. Um, not too difficult despite what some people will have you believe. Moving on to something a little trickier this is one of my ceramic composite laminates. Uh, ceramics have a, a bad reputation for being almost impossible to sharpen and oftentimes people will tell you to send it back to manufacturer as I've mentioned before on the blog. Um, it's really not that difficult. I've talked about some of the details of it and most of the same things apply as with the composite blades in general or any knife really. Uh, use diamonds to set the initial edge and once you've got a decent edge, and this is just done like you would sharpen any other knife, you just have to be wary of the edges. You can't go quite as thin as you can with steel. And again, generally speaking, um, a ceramic knife is not going to be an arm shaver. That's really not what that kind of edge is useful for. They will tend to chip out if they get that thin. Leave that kind of thing to steel, frankly. Um, that's not to say that they cannot get sharp. So once you've so like I said, once you've set the edge with diamond and you want to go fairly high as far as the grit, uh, you generally don't want to use anything too coarse. You probably want to finish the edge at at least 600 grit, um, preferably higher. Again, this is a 1200 grit um, Dia Sharp. Um, and then I finish it with either silicon carbide wet and dry paper. Um, I have some glued here to a piece of PVC pipe. This works fairly well. Um, again, but since the micro mesh abrasive actually uses silicon carbide, I, I like using this because it does get rid of the scratches. Silicon carbide is too soft to really remove a lot of material from ceramic. Um, it is, however, hard enough to help you get the scratches out left behind from the diamond. And you want to get these scratches out because they function as stress risers and can actually lead to fractures and thus chipping out. And it's just very simple. You just go over this just the way you would a, a regular knife or the other composite blades. You drag it across the pad. You don't, you don't really want to make a slicing motion like you might do on a regular stone. Um, that's not what these are really good for and it doesn't really work at, as far as producing a convex edge. Convex edges are nice when it comes to ceramic, mostly because they provide a little more strength and are not as prone to chipping out. And again, this is something that can be tested just exactly the same way that I did with the composite blade. You do it just by dragging it across the nail by the weight of the blade itself, and it shouldn't slide. You can, of course, also cut paper with it, but again, it's not necessarily always a good indicator. This method of using silicon carbide abrasive to get rid of the scratches is quite effective and will generally prevent your ceramic blade from chipping out too badly. Um, that being said, ceramics are generally not suitable for cutting hard materials um, or prying with. The lamination that I do d does make them significantly more strong laterally, but it's not a pry bar. No matter what some people will have you believe, these are not pry bars and they will not do what steel or even titanium will do when it comes to that kind of that kind of use. Well, basically with this stuff this is just what you keep doing until you have the edge that you want. 
you want to be careful you don't put too much pressure onto something like this mouse pad because if you put too much pressure on it you're actually going to be dulling the edge instead of making it sharper so just a little bit of pressure and just wipe it with even motions across the pad alternating from side to side you know as you see fit and then you can finish it up with some of the higher grit um, a lot of times I'll use a progression of grits I'm not too concerned about that right now mostly because that particular pad that I use at first is actually quite worn down and produces a softer finish or a smoother finish than a fresh one would. That being said, this micro mesh abrasive will last for a very long time, um, much longer than traditionals, traditional abrasives will, and is generally a very good option despite the somewhat higher cost. You can also get this stuff with a diamond abrasive coating. Um, that, I think that would be good for general material removal but I wouldn't necessarily use it for sharp the final sharpening and polishing stages for a ceramic and there you have it folks that's how you sharpen exotic material blades uh, these methods can be applied to well, any number of different types of blades really including other ceramic knives so you do not necessarily have to ship these off just make sure that you do polish out the scratches left behind from your diamond hones when you sharpen the ceramic knife. Otherwise, you will make it more prone to chipping out. So, go careful. Don't use too much pressure. And any blade can be sharpened easily. That's all. Have a nice day.